hello everybody uh, this session is the recorded part of the lecture 5 regarding water tank level control system we studied this um, process uh, water level uh, control uh, there's in this process let me just remind that we have two sensors uh, high sensor switch and low sensor switch and a pump uh, we assume that there's also some filling pipe that is not mentioned here uh, if the level is reached to high sensor switch the pump starts to drain the uh, water and the pump remains a start uh, it remains on let's say until the uh, level reached to the low sensor switch when the level reached to below the low sensor switch then the pump turns off and remain off uh, um, until the level increases again to a high sensor switch. So the level is uh, all the times between low sensor and high sensor in uh, normal case. Uh, there are some indicators for the uh, operators and also there is one on off switch for the operator to turn on and off the whole process or let's say the pump in fact uh, and there is an auto manual uh, selector switch also to, uh, that the operator can select regarding uh, whether it works in the manual or auto uh, the program the structure of the program uh, is this this is the general structure of the program symbolic or based on some symbolic um, uh, name for the contacts Re, uh, considering the uh, here we have the low and uh, high sensor switch the auto manual and on off switch and the motor output coil and also uh, some uh, pilot lines. Uh, the program considering the Siemens um, uh, format uh, is here but we studied that since uh, these uh, indicators, these three indicators uh, when we have uh, HMI we don't need to have pilot lines. Maybe for some reason we need to also have still some pilot lines, maybe local pilot lines but let's assume that uh, everything is going to be uh, indicated in the HMI uh, so we don't need these pilot lines uh, as a individual devices but we need to indicate the uh, state of the pump the low level and high level uh, switch sensor uh, sensor switch in the uh, HMI so the program uh, summarizes uh, to this one so the main part regarding turning on and off the pump instead of those uh, uh, rungs for uh, implementing uh, or let's say for turning on and off the pilot lights we just use these the state of these variables the state of these variables motor load sensor switch and high sensor switch to um, change the color of the sensors in the uh, or the uh, add some animation let's say as a general to the HMI so the switch uh, the inputs are just these two okay regarding the inputs also uh, we don't need these two inputs to be some physical input we can have uh, these commands through the HMI uh, device so uh, we remove these two we don't need these uh, uh, as a physical we don't need these uh, lights as physical lights all of them uh, move to the HMI but the sensor switch uh, and also the motor remain so the sensors uh, and the motors those devices that send some information from the field to the uh, uh, to the control system or those that get some command and do some job in the field should still remain but the indicators and the switches that get the command from the operator uh, can be replaced uh, by the HMI the HMI that we are going to uh, prepare is like this of course there's four, one more box here that change the color of that change here the, uh, it is invisible so we cannot see that but anyway this is the general structure of the HMI that we are going to have a switch for selecting on and off a switch for uh, auto manual uh, pump um, the sensors uh, and also to indicate uh, the uh, level of the uh, water okay so let's build that in the TIA again to save the time I prepared that uh, uh, 
program and uh, set up the communication between the PLC, HMI and the computer. It is ready. So we are ready. It's ready to start program. Uh, so for programming, let me uh, okay, enlarge this part and then look at, let's look at the program and then try to build that. That's not a large program. So this is something that we need. This is a structure. Okay, let's just have a look to that, memorize, and then start preparing. Okay, something that we need is uh, this one, I think. Even if you made mistake on the type of that, let me just simply add everything as a practice, everything as a normally open, then we can change them to normally close. Um, here we need a branch, in this branch, two contacts. I select all of them to be normally open but later we change them to normally close. This is the first one. Uh, let's add the rest also in the same, uh, as a practice, uh, at the same uh, network. Here uh, we need this one, I think, and this one, as I remember. Okay, let's look at that again. Okay, one more contact here. One more contact here and this. Okay, so Okay, one more contact here, it was normally closed. And again, this one that we need another branch, uh, one, two, and one output. And here we need, uh, okay, from here, sorry. This, a contact, and this must be connected to this part uh, here, not to here, so I use the track. Okay, this screen shows, okay, so it's, so this is the structure of that. Of course, the type of the contact might not be correct. Let's check the type of the contact. This must be normally closed. These two also must be, nor uh, must be normally closed, and this is set and reset. Okay, so let's see. To change that, click here, and then here you see that, okay, then you come to the top uh, left side of this box indicator, then you have a selector. Okay, it should be normally closed, this is normally closed, and I think this also should be normally closed. Okay, am I correct? Oh no, yeah, and also these two, not this one. Okay, so this should be normally open, then this should be normally closed. Okay, so this should be normally open, and this one should be normally closed. Okay, this must be set, okay. So from here, set, and this also should be reset. So the reset. So you see that you can change the uh, type of the contacts or the type of the uh, assignment coins. And then the addresses. For the addresses, let's see. Uh, this is auto manual M11. Uh, let me increase the size of that a little bit to make it better to read. Okay. One one uh, for the auto manual, okay. So and this is auto manual, auto manual. All of the first for all of the rungs are auto manual. So let me simply build this one. So it it should be M one one, and the tag is uh, auto manual, okay. And then use the same here, auto manual. Auto manual. Auto. Okay, you see that uh, it appears. Auto manual. Selector manual. Okay, so all of them are auto manual yeah, as it was supposed to be. And then for the low sensor switch, it is input 0, 2. Okay, and the low sensor switch appears here and here. So input zero two, low sensor switch, input zero two, and the tag should be, its tag is, okay, right click, it is low sensor switch, okay, and also here, low sensor switch. Okay, then this is on off M10. So M10, M10 for 
for the on off we use the binary because uh, we are going to change the, the set the state of these using the um, HMI instead of input so since there's not any uh, physical switch for the auto manual selection it is just internal so we can use internal variable and save some input uh, or output uh, uh, terminals on the PLC car so it is um, on off okay then the next one is okay. <clears throat> the high sensor you have the high sensor just once here there's not any other high sensor so m10 m10 is going to be the, oh m10 just a moment i sorry i want three <laughs> I want three. I made a mistake. I want three. It's supposed to be I one I zero three I zero three I zero three to be a high sensor switch. Okay. Oops. What's that? Sorry, I made a mistake. Once more. I zero dot three. Okay, and then right click on that. Yeah, um, high sensor switch. Okay, that's good. And uh, this is going to be M00 for the selection here and here and here. These three points. Okay, that's good. So M00, M0.0. And then right click on this and make it as the selection. Okay, or latch on latch. Uh, in the, I think in the diagram it was latch on latch, but in the program we select A to B selection. Okay. So selection and also selection here. And just one output and the output number that we have Q0.0 is the motor. So Q0.0 .0, and this is going to be motor. Okay, that's good. So this is the program. Just have a short look to that to be sure, to carefully of course, short but very carefully to be sure that everything is correct. So let me also bring this program. Let's compare them. So, yeah, this is from the structure point of view. This is correct. Set reset, and this is a manual auto low sensor on off auto manual selection. Uh, this is auto manual high sensor switch auto auto manual yes or manual auto HMI of course. Auto manual low sensor switch and auto manual and this these are going to be yeah that's great okay yeah okay so the program is ready let's uh, compile that okay let's see if there's any error on that no there's not any error so we can simply download that on the PLC Again, continue without synchronization. Um, okay, stop module. The modules are stopped for downloading to the device. Yes, we should stop that. So if we should select the stop and then load. Okay, very good. <clears throat> and then start that again. We can start that uh, using these two uh, icons here. Uh, during the in the program mode but uh, you can also start that from here finish okay so the program is ready downloaded in the PLC the next step is to prepare the HMI part of that okay for the HMI uh, under the HMI go to the screens and root screen on the root screen okay um, <coughs> We have a blank uh, screen. Uh, let me 
remove this welcome message okay this is the blank screen and the screen is going to be this size and then look at this okay this is a structure of the screen. these two are switches so these are not just simple boxes uh, compared to the previous ones that you have boxes here you need to add some switches uh, for the switches okay here uh, let me increase the size of this uh, let me drag it here okay here you see that basic objects just rectangle, circle, line, takes, and like that, but here are elements. Uh, this is the switch that we are going to use. This is the switch, so let's have one switch here, and one another here. Okay, one for auto manual, one for on off. Okay, uh, double click on the first one. This is going to be our auto manual. Let's look at the properties on that here. So, okay, yes. So, under the general, let's uh, see. Okay, here you see that label on off. You can change this label. We don't need to change for this one, but for the next one, yes, we are going to change that to auto manual. So, for this one, it's supposed to be um, uh, manual and auto. auto. Okay, so in the on state, it is manual in the office state it is auto then uh, so it shows as uh, auto manual oh, you see okay this is auto automatically changed to auto um, then regarding the uh, yeah the appearance regarding the color and like that you can change the color let's keep it as is uh, but the event is important for that for the event something that we are looking for that is this okay when the switch is on okay we expect that the auto manual okay so let's select this for the for the rectangle or circle or like that we didn't have these events but for the switches we have event option for example switch on what happens when you switch on okay something that we expect is that we want to, okay, here you have many options. The option that we are going to use is this edit bits. And we are going, when you switch on, we are going to set the auto manual switch on. So when you select that set bit, then the tag, it asks you what supposed to be the tag. Here, let's select the tag. And the tag that we are looking for that is under the PLC tag. In the PLC tag, we have an auto manual something that we want to do is this Let me increase the size of that okay something that we want is that when you switch on these we want to set this auto manual to make it one and okay so select this auto manual switch this bit okay this bit memory okay so when you switch this on it set Okay, sorry, on off. This is for the on off. I made a mistake. This is for the on off. So, make, uh, sorry, let me change that. It should be on off, this one. Okay, the on off. So, select the on off. We set the bit on off to the on mode when switch on. And when switch off is selected, then again, we're going to reset that. Again, under the edit bits, this time, select the reset bit. So we reset bit. Which bit? We reset this bit. The, the same bit. This on off bit. Okay. Okay. It means that when you click on this to switch it on, uh, the on off bit becomes one. And when you switch that to change that to off mode, uh, it uh, reset that. And this is something that we expect from that. So this uh, somehow uh, works instead of this switch here, okay, by switching on and off. Similarly for the auto manual. For the auto manual we have this. Uh, maybe I made a mistake on uh, it. It would be better to, of course it's possible, but uh, it would be better that in the on 
mode, it be auto because when it is auto, when it is in auto mode, okay, when it is in auto mode, the uh, state here is one. So it's, uh, or let's say the, this contact is going to be on. So it's better that we select this in the on mode to be auto and in the off mode to be manual, okay, to be consistent with the state that we expected. Okay, similarly on the events. Again, when switch on, select uh, it to be set the bit, which bit, the memory bit that associated with the auto manual. So when you switch this on, uh, the auto manual sets to one, and you, then you uh, switch it off, double click here, okay, select this, and then reset that, okay? So then reset this, and this time, uh, again, the auto manual, okay. That's good. So by switching it on and off, this on and off, we uh, set or reset that auto manual bit. These two works instead of that physical switches in the outside of the PLC. We don't need any physical switches, we don't need any cabling, we don't need any conduit for the cables, or um, and also we don't need to uh, use some bit uh, some terminals, big terminals in the input of the PLC for that. This generally reduces the number of the uh, required input-output uh, terminals and uh, let's say mod card modules, uh, input-output modules in the PLC when you use the HMI. Okay, so this is the first part. Then let's work on the second part. The second part of that is this. Okay, let's build this tank. For the tank, in fact, we need a rectangle for the whole tank. Also, to indicate that our uh, level is less than low, between low and middle, uh, low and high, uh, or let's say in the middle, uh, and more than high, I use four, three more uh, rectangles. Let me emphasize, this is not the only way that you can do that. This is something that I select. You may select, I'm sure, uh, maybe the better way, but this is the way that I build this uh, figure okay so a tank something like this just for a tank then I use another uh, um, rectangle here okay for the to indicate that it is in the low uh, another one on top of that to indicate it to be uh, let's say the home here okay and one more here for the high. Okay, good. Then uh, let me add two sensors to shape, uh, sen uh, build these shapes for the sensor. Let's look at the detail on that. The shape that I'm going to build are these. Okay, you see? That's simple. Uh, there are three rectangles, middle, two here and there. As the, some, something like the cover of that, and then some just a line to make it as a, uh, a wire, for example. This is the symbol for the wire of the sensor. So, to make that, increase a little bit the size of this. Okay. So, I need, we will work on this. They have not yet finished, but before that, I'm just going to build those sensors, one rectangle here. And let me copy paste this rectangle, Oops. and then move it, connect it to this point, and then decrease the size of that. Okay, to decrease the size, instead of using this dragging, I use these properties layout, and I need to reduce the x size of that. Okay, so I reduce that. Maybe just ten should be sufficiently good, even less than. Maybe even uh, seven, for example, or eight. Okay, that's sufficiently good. And a little bit x to the left side. That's good. Okay, yeah. And then another one. Let me uh, just move it to this point. 
and then these two move them a little bit to connect it. Okay. So this is the symbol for my sensor and one line at this point just to indicate that this is wire. Just simple wiring it again. Uh, you can play with these to make it straight or alternatively maybe better ways to here. Uh, sorry, first select that. And then in the layout, if I remove the uh, vertical, uh, let's say, wide of that, it means that it becomes completely straight. Okay. So then, so I have these. This is going to be my height sensor. So I, I'm going to change the color of this one, this part. Okay, this part depend on the level. So let's. Um, Add some animation to that and display that add new animation appearance of that just the color uh, the color of that is going to be changed by the variable that indicates whether the level is high or not high sensor switch so it's high sensor switch okay uh, for this sensor if the level is less than high sensor switch the, the output uh, the high sensor switch variable is zero. In that case, uh, let's indicate this by yellow. So when it is zero, let's indicate uh, just that by some yellow color. Okay? But, <clears throat> okay, where is that? Um, display, oh, no, okay, click here. Okay, yeah. But, if the value of that is one, it means that the level is more than that. So let's in, uh, show that by a color of red, okay? Just by that. So if it is red, this color is red, it means that the level is more than high. Uh, similarly, let me group, uh, uh, copy them, uh, control C, and then control V. Similarly, I need one for the low sensor, okay? But this time, this, the tag of that is going to be the uh, low sensor. So let's select the low sensor switch. This for the tag of this one, okay? And um, of course, regarding the logic of that, if the low sensor this time, if the level is less than low, this is something that is undesirable. We don't want, we prefer that the level is more than this. So if the level is more, the, 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 the value of that, level sensor switch is one, it means that the level is more than this. And this is something that is a normal case. So let's change this to yellow. So it is yellow when the level is more than this. But if the level is less than that, uh, it is something that you should uh, emphasize that, so make it red. So if the level is less than the low, uh, this becomes red. If the level is more than red, uh, more than high, the, this becomes red. Otherwise, the, the color is yellow. Okay, uh, just to make it be more beautiful, let me um, uh, group them. Okay, and this one also, group them. So I'm sure uh, this helps us to be sure that it doesn't change the position of that. And a little bit, this one to the left, and but this one to the right. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, then regarding these boxes. This box uh, should become blue uh, when the level is more than high. It, in fact, let's change the color of that. I, I want this to, uh, something that I'm going to do is this. Uh, I have, let's show you, I have these three boxes, okay? This box is, app is uh, uh, the only box that uh, we can see when the level is less than low, okay? This box will be blue, uh, or let's say will be appeared when the level is between them, and this one when the level is more than that. So you can, you can indicate whether the level is less than low, whether it is between, in between, or more than that. So let me, because the blue is something that we generally use for the water, so let me change the color of this to blue. Okay, 
So the appearance of this, the color to be blue, to indicate that this is the water. Okay. And this also blue as the water. Okay. And this also. Let's make it blue uh, to indicate that this is water. Okay. And this. Okay. And uh, sorry. And also the border of them. Not only the is, but also the border of them. We don't need the border for them. So let also change the border also to blue and this also to be blue okay very good and then let me select these three uh, if you want to select all of them one way is to click on the shift uh, keep the shift key and then one by one select all of them i select these three i want to arrange them so i use this option and uh, arrange them uh, to the left okay Okay, these, and then I can move all of them together to the inside the tank. Maybe the size is not perfect. We should take care of that. Um, for this, okay, a little bit larger size. Okay, yeah, it's better to increase the size of that a little. Oh, okay, the color of that, the border is not blue. The color to be blue, okay. So, a little bit to left. That's not that bad. And this, not that bad. Okay, let's keep it. Yeah, we don't need to change that anymore. Yeah, that's good, sufficient. Okay, but regarding that, uh, the, this box is going to be appear oh, okay sorry when um, the level is uh, in fact um, okay let me show you this is going to be all the times appear nothing change but this one appears when the level is more than low okay so animation and then add new animation okay and then visibility of that okay the, uh, it should be visible if the level is more than low so let's select the level sensors low and then say that okay let's make it visible when the level is more than when the level is more than low please notice that the level sensor switch variable would be one and so when it is one from one to one let me again mention that of course, you can also set uh, it, but I use this uh, one to one. Uh, in that case, when the value of this is one, then this appears. Otherwise, it invisible. This appear. Okay. Uh, for this one also, this appears. Just uh, double click on these and then appear. Okay. And then uh, it can be probably the high sensor switch and uh, also oh sorry that not appearance I made mistake the visibility of that okay sorry the visibility of that so add one more visible okay and then it is visible based on the high sensor switch okay if the high sensor switch is one it means that the level is more than high sensor switch then it should be visible otherwise it is invisible okay so we expect that when the level is high more than high all of them are on when the level is between in between more than low but uh, not necessarily less than high this is visible and otherwise they just the uh, lower rectangle Okay, let's, we will look at the uh, result after uh, in a while. But before that, let's also build this one. The part that remain is this one, the pump. Adjust to rectangle, to a circle, and then assign the uh, column for them. So one rectangle here, a simple rectangle here. Okay, this one. Let me change the color of that to 
a little bit darker gray for example this one okay and I use the same one because it's going to be the pipe so the same pipe okay here but this time I just want to uh, okay uh, we would okay the same color but Uh, the wide of this is going to be the height of that, or let's say the, 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 the uh, diameter of these two pipes is assumed that are going to be the same. Of course, from the uh, in the HMI, they are not necessarily going to be exactly the same. But if there's not any other reason, let's make the uh, wide of these the same as the height of these. So when this is 49, uh, this is... Okay, so let's make the wide of the, uh, okay, the, sorry, the wide of this to be 20, and similarly this one also to be 20. That's good. Okay, so these are the two type pipes, or pipes. We need to circle for the pump also. One circle, the largest one. Okay, this one, let me know, it needs to large maybe a little bit. Okay, good position. You can adjust that to make it more beautiful. And then also move this to this point. Okay, yeah, that's good. And one more circle inside that. Okay, if you want these to be centered, just select both of them together. And then from here, okay, select this center. Center selected objects. So it uh, uh, centered them. Okay, these are here. And then regarding the color of them, uh, my selection, I select it like this, okay? So I add some animation and here an appearance for this one, okay? And then if the motor is on, if the motor is on, okay, I change the color of that to green. If it is off, let's keep it this color. If it is on, then I change the color to green. Uh, you may change also the color of this. Let's also make it more um, informative. So let's change the color of this one also by the motor, the pipe. And again, similarly, if the color, if it is zero, the same color, if it is one, change the background to green. And similarly for this one, okay, appearance, okay. And then again, the motor, select the motor, and then change this to zero, uh, to be zero if it is the motor is off, if the pump is off. And if the pump is on, just change this to green, okay. So we expect that this becomes green when the motor is on. So let's uh, look at the whole uh, diagram. Yeah, it seems that we have everything that we expected. Okay, let's download and check whether it is correct or not. So first, um, let's first uh, compile that. There's not any error, that's very good. And then download that on the PLC. Okay, it may ask you over you uh, overwrite the, uh, that yes overwrite that uh, this HMI to the uh, display to the previous one and the previous one and then okay okay so it is ready um, uh, let me uh, the, uh, okay the PLC is in the run mode um, okay it is in the run mode. Let's see, I'm not sure, let's make, are you sure? Yes, I want to make it in the run mode. And let's also uh, set the, for the PLC, uh, the program, and then I want to see the state of them. So let's click on this monitor. So let's turn on the monitor. Okay. Right now, the auto manual is off, uh, so this is just, uh, and the on off also is off, so the pump cannot be turned on. Okay, so let's look at the uh, HMI or HMI, okay, 
this is our camera. Oh, where's the camera? Oh, the camera. see the program and uh, you see the, the coloring uh, on off manual auto and here you see that the level is less than low at the beginning so it is just indicated by this level of water okay and the pump is off the red um, sensor the low sensor is red which means that the level is less than low uh, and of course the high sensor is yellow okay and here just uh, let me show you a little bit here okay I have a motor here as a pump uh, and two sensors for the high sensor and low sensor. But the connection, let me check if the connection are correct. What are the um, input outputs? The low sensors should be input two. Okay, I'm not sure because this, uh, this is connected to input two. Okay. I don't need this on off switch. What I'm doing. I don't need these on off switches means from the previous experiment, so let me just remove them. I don't need them. Uh, and that's also like this one. Okay, the pump. The pump is connected to output, so it should be here. sensor switch. The high sensor switch is the uh, out input 3. So input 3 and the low sensor is input 2. So input 3 is this one and this is going to be my high sensor switch. Uh, so input 3 and input 2 uh, this is going to be my low sensor switch. that the level is less than low and the pump is off. Okay. So uh, it's good to uh, this is where make the display small uh, a little bit small. That's it. So we have the pump, the high sensor switch, and the low sensor switch. And this is to turn it on and off instead of switch here, the physical switch, you have this display. So let me turn it on. You see, just push it to turn it on. So now it is in the on mode. Uh, to see that in the program, here you see that this becomes green. You see, this is green. So it means that this is close but since here the logic is zero the output of that is also zero okay so then the next step is to also set this in the it is in the manual mode so let me set that in the auto okay so again from here I select that to be in the so no, it is in the auto mode. When it is in the auto mode, we expect that, according to the program, okay, the pump is off. The pump is off. It is in the auto, and the pump is off. Okay, when the pump is off, that's something that we expect is that the water. the tank. Of course, we don't have that part in our uh, display and in our program, but we, we assume that the water enter the tank, but does not drain. After a while, we expect that the level of the water increases. We don't have the tank, but we can simulate that by this switch. If this switch turns on, it means that the level is, becomes more than the low source. Okay? And here you can see that 
uh, this becomes blue, so it shows that the level is more than uh, minimum, the, the low, uh, more than the low, and the low sensor uh, now is yellow. It means that the level is not less than uh, low. It is more than low. Okay? And then let's assume that the water continues to come again. This is just uh, a simulation. This is just a display of that, but the program works. And then we, let's assume that the level increases, increases, and at some point, the, this sensor sense that the level reached to this point. Okay. okay. So let me turn it on as if it, okay, you see. It indicates that the level is high. It becomes red, okay. It indicates that the level is more than high. And the pump, you see that the pump turns on. And here becomes green. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I assume that you're looking at the display, sorry. Mistake. So let me go back and then come again. Okay, from here. So the level is low. Let me repeat that. The level is low. We assume that we have an inlet pipe. The inlet pipe brings water, but the pump is off. So the level increases. At some time, the level becomes more than low. Okay. This becomes blue, and so operator understand that. Uh, the level is more than low, but it is less than high, and also the level meter, the level switch here is yellow, so it means that the level is good. And then, but the pump is still off. Since the pump is still off, the water, in the level of the water increases. We don't have any continuous level meter, so we don't know how much is the level, okay? We don't know how much is the level, but we know that the level is between these two. If you want to know exact level, the, uh, these sensors uh, must be replaced or uh, by a level uh, meter, an analog signal. This is something that uh, we don't have at this process. We have just two levels. So, so we, don't need, we don't know what is the exact level, but we know that it is between these two and this indicates that. Okay, let's assume that the water, uh, the tank filled with the water, inlet water, and the inlet water uh, caused the level to increase. At some point, the level reaches to the high. So let me uh, switch. Here you see that the level indicate this indicates that the level is high. This also indicates that the level is high, and the pump is on. And here, you can see. here the uh, pump, the, the, the motor turns on. It means that the pump turns on, and this be, becomes green. It means that it indicates to the operator. It indicates to the operator that the level uh, that, that the pump is on. Okay, the pump is on. What will happen? Something that we expect is that the level decreases. Decreases, although there are some in the through uh, still, but the pump turns on, so the level gradually decreases. First, in the first stage, the level becomes less than this. So it means that this sensor turns off. Okay. See that? The, level, the sensor turns off. So the level dropped to in between them, but the pump is still on. The, according to the program, it is it remain on until the level, level reach to the low level. Until the level reach to the low level. In that time, okay, you see that the pump turns off. Uh, the level, uh, the uh, blue color here shows that the level is less than minimum, and this red also shows that it is less than. Again, since the pump is off, the level increases. So initially, the level becomes more than low. Again, more than low, then becomes more than high, and then the pump turns on, and then continue this continues. Okay, that's it. Of course, you can set that in the manual, or also, for example, let's assume that the pump is on. What will happen? Okay, let's assume that the pump is on. What will happen if I turn it off? The turn it off. The level is high. Okay, but because I switched this to off, the pump is off, and the, uh, the, of course this is very dangerous because the water enter that. We, we, if you switch this off, uh, we should be sure that uh, the inlet flue has already stopped. Okay, or use this switch on and off to also turn off the inlet flue. Uh, this is another part of the process that are not this one, of course, as a general uh, plant, as a whole plant, 
we should also add that part, but this is only regarding the controlling this pack, not regarding the feedback. Okay, that's all regarding this uh, example.